ליבי במזרח ואנוכי בסוף מערב. איך את עמה את אשר אוכל ואיך יערב. איכה אשלם נדריי ואסריי בעוד ציון בחבל אדום ואני בחבל ערב. יקל בעיניי עזוב כל טוב ספרד כמו יקר בעיניי ריאות עפרות דביר נחרב. Who was the poet? The poet was Yehuda Levi. Yehuda Levi was born almost a thousand years ago in Spain. At that time, Spain was a Muslim country, at least at that part where Yehuda Levi lived. But Yehuda Levi wasn't a Muslim, he was Jewish. And Yehuda Levi had a very burning and deep desire to go to Jerusalem. Why go to Jerusalem? At that time, Jerusalem was the boondocks, was the middle of nowhere. There was nothing there in Jerusalem, just a wasteland. And so far, far away. To compound the issue, Jerusalem was under Christian control. And at that time, there was a huge animosity between the Christians and the Muslims. So, of course, migrating from a, Christian, a Muslim country to a Christian country was a very, very dangerous affair. So what's going on? Why did he want to go to Jerusalem so bad? Was he having such a bad time in Spain? No. In Spain, he was living in clover. He wasn't lacking anything. He was a wealthy and well-respected person in Spain. So what was it? It was a spiritual need. A spiritual need to fulfill a commandment, a spiritual commandment for every Jewish person to go and live in the Holy Land. Let's read the poem again, and I'll explain every word of it. The name of this, the poem is Libi Bamizrach. Libi is Halev Sheli, my heart. Lev means heart. Yud means mine, signifies mine. Ba in Mizrach, the east. So my heart is in the east. Let's read the poem. Libi Bamizrach, my heart is in the east, Ve'anochi, and Anochi, I. Besof, be, in, sof, and Ma'arav, the west. So my heart is in the east, and I'm in the end of the west. Ech et ama. את אשר אוכל, ואיך יערב, איך הו, את עמה, I will taste, אשר that אוכל, eat, ואיך and how יערב, will be tasty. So, my heart is in the east, and of course he refers to Jerusalem. And I'm in the end of the West. The end of the West, the farthest part of the West, it means Spain. It refers to Spain. How can I even, how can the food even taste good? So even the food that I'm eating is not tasty because I feel that I want to go to, because my heart is in the East. Echa Ashalem. Echa, how, how, Ashalem will pay or will fulfill Nedarai, my vows, Ve'esarai, and my restrictions. Be'od, while, 
uh, referring to time while while Zion, Jerusalem, Bechevel Edom, in a rope, which means it's in it's tied up. Bechevel Edom. Edom in this context means the Christians. Now there is another there is a pun of word here because because Hevel means a rope. It also means a region. So Jerusalem is in the region of the Christians. Vani and I, Bechevel Arav. Now maybe you noticed this word, Hevel, and this word, Hevel, sounds the same. They're just spelled differently. Hevel means bindings. So handcuffs or something like that, of that sort. Arav, Arav means the Arabs, the Muslims. So he's bemoaning the fact that he's trapped in a Muslim country, whereas Jerusalem, where he wants to go, is under Christian control. So how can he fulfill his vows? And what is his vows? The vows to go to Jerusalem. Yekal will be easier, be'enai, in my eyes. Azov, to leave. Kol, tuv, all the goodness. Sfarad, Sfarad means Spain. But all the goodness of Spain. Spain at that time was very affluent. It was a rich country. Rich both materially and culturally. Kmo, like, yekar ve'enai, re'ot. Yekar is very dear. Ve'enai, in my eyes. Re'ot, seeing, to see. Afrot, the dust. Dvir, dvir is the holy of holiest in the Jewish temple. Necherav. Necharav means destroyed, raised to the ground. So what he's saying here, I have no problem whatsoever leaving all what I have in Spain, all the goodness, all the wealthy, all the mammon that I have in Spain, everything that I have in Spain, I can leave in a heartbeat. As long as I can go and see the ruins, the dust of the temple in Jerusalem. And there is a happy ending to the story. Because in 1140, age 65, Yudha Levi finally plucked up enough, enough courage to set out on a journey to Spain. Now, the journey must have been rough because we know that in 1141, one year later, Yudalevi passed away. So where is the happy ending, you're asking? Well, we're not so sure about that because there, are, there is no real evidence to support or corroborate this. But there are some people that say that in 1141, Yudalevi finally managed to reach Jerusalem where he died, where he passed away content. So Yehuda Levi was finally able to fulfill his heart's desire. Isn't that a lovely ending?